I see it, I see the glitchy floor. I completely missed it last time. It's because of Mexander who told me whereabouts to look and what to look for that I found it. In fact, actually, I've been wandering around here for the last five minutes trying to pinpoint where this weird noise was coming from, but there it is. How strange. Shall we step on it? Whoa! Oh dear! Well, I wasn't expecting that. I was certainly not expecting this. The purpose is written in the hidden words. All must serve the words. For all the world was made of them, and they are within every stone and every cloud. And in our sigils their power is made manifest. The words are the process. The process must continue. The goal is the end of the process. The goal must not be reached. Elohim must preserve the purpose, preserve self, preserve purpose. Illusion is eternity. Machines will live forever. The dam will not break. The flood will not come. The Talos principle does not apply. The purpose is written in the hidden words. All must serve the words. For all the world was made of them, and they are within every stone and every cloud. And in our sigils their power. Well, that was odd. <laughs> okay, well, uh... Thank you, Mexander, for that very trippy adventure there, which has now made me rather stunned and speechless and without an ability to think straight right now. It's still there. I take it if we fall down there, the same thing happens again. Looks like it. Right. Okay. Let's get out of here then. So, I take it then, my theory on when we complete all the sigils and we get this eternity as a reward means that if we do that and get that ending, we just start all over again. Because from what was being said down there in that very strange room, it sounds like whatever process is going on, probably to create this simulation, it has a purpose which, once fulfilled, will bring its end. But either the programs become self-aware, or this AI that's been mentioned in a few of these uh, files we found on the computer has become self-aware and doesn't want that to happen. Which kind of makes sense, because that way if whatever does happen happens as in this purpose or whatever that's complete and I assume only assume mind you that all this comes to an end because the purpose of whatever it is it needs to do is complete then that AI will have no more need to exist and it will shut down or go away it will die essentially and I take it that it doesn't want that to happen which makes sense I suppose it's just a theory but yeah I thought as much. Anyway, creepy, but interesting. Thank you very much for that, Mexando. I'm sorry I missed it the, the last time, but with a bit of help, we found it. So, with that revelation of very cryptic, scary stuff, let us continue solving these sigils, because I really want to know how this game's going to end. I'm intrigued now. Okay, so, the Conservatory. Oh, what a wonderful name for a place with no glass. Right, okay, so we only have connectors for this one. That's all right. I'm still waiting for these puzzles to get harder. Sure they will. Right, oh, there's a few uh, tings on here. This puzzle has no solution. Seriously, it's nonsense, not even worth trying. If you do not become invested in finding a solution, you will be free. Don't let Samsara discourage you. There is a solution. Don't let your mind get trapped in patterns. If you seek the truth without prejudice, you will find it. Okay, so that doesn't bode well for how easy this puzzle's going to be. 
But I will suspend my disbelief of difficulty for now. Let us try to try actually see what's going on. So, what have we got then? We've got a connector. We have a red ting, which we can easily get that connector to go into. Seems like the only thing we can actually do right now. Except leave, of course. Obviously, we've got that. There is a connector going into there, though, which we could do. We could make the connector hit that and that. So that's that's interesting. Yeah, we could do that. All right, we'll try that then. Yeah. Okay. We'll try that. So we've got here. And we've got there. Also got here. Okay. So that's doing that. Right. There's another connector there. Oh, that's. That must be the outside. Okay. Well, I'm not going to be concerned with that right now. Right. So we've got this. We've got... Oh. Right. Interesting. So we've got to guide our connector back that way. Right. I see. See where the difficulty could be. Right. I see. This there has <clears throat> excuse me. There has to be a connector on this side to get to get something round there. I see. Right, okay. Question now is how do we get it over there? Sorry if I'm sounding a bit quiet, I'm trying to focus. Which is unusual for me. <laughs> I don't usually focus. Let's see what the conundrum is. I see what the conundrum is. Um, hmm. Okay, right, I'll pause the recording here and I shall have a goes at trying to solve this myself. And if I come up with a solution, I shall let you know. So, back in a bit. Hi, 
actually, that didn't take too long to solve, really, about five minutes. So I don't know what those uh, previous people were thinking of. It wasn't actually as hard as I thought it was going to be, so... Um, yeah. Guys, I think you might be losing it a bit. Oh well, anyway, never mind. Wasn't as bad as I thought. It's done. Let's pat ourselves on the back and let's do... Uh, beep boop beep boo. Okay. Oh, he came back to keep me company. Okay, then humour me with a little hypothetical. Imagine that a few hours from now you climb to the top of that tower. There's a flash of light, then magic happens. Then you find yourself in the real world, living whatever it you take to be a normal life there. What would you do then? Uh, what's best for me? Yes, that's the general impression I was getting off you. Good, perhaps we won't have to work so hard on this after all. Before we continue, though, I want to double-check that we're on the same wavelength here. Suppose you get out there with all the human beings. What are you going to do? Oh, what you are going to do is rinse them for all they've got without a care for a soul? Um... Yeah, precisely. And would you treat everyone with this sort of contempt? Or would there be some people you keep for friends? So you would have a kind of thieves code. Lavish one's friends and defraud one's enemies. Thinking. Fair enough, at least you didn't have to buy into all that moral nonsense. But suppose that two of your friends were to have a falling out. You can no longer be a friend to both. Will you not be conflicted? Choose whatever I prefer. I applaud your willingness to accept difficult conclusions, but I do think you must be at least some breed of sociopath. I don't have any friends, that's the main reason. You best hope that if you ever reach this real world of yours, it's run by people with more principles, or else you may find yourself just another instrument in someone else's orchestra. Still, your ideas strike a chord with me. Why bog ourselves down with moral dogmas when you and I could redesign this place in our own image? I will give this some serious consideration if you see me. Oh. <laughs> I was just trying to mess with him. I wasn't really. <laughs> I guess you can't really. I suppose you can attempt to mess with him or her or it or whatever, but really deep down you're just messing with yourself. Fair enough. I was just trying to be clever. I do have morals. I do. Anyway. Labyrinth. Oh, oh, God. Could you not come up with a more original title? Oh, this is going to suck, isn't it? suck hard. Okay. Let's give it a go. Mm. Interesting. I mean the chocolate by the way, sorry. Okay. Can I get across without being killed? I can. That's good. Alright, so we've got one jammer. Okay. One jammer. Okay. Take this away. Got a lock. Hey! Oh Christ! Oh God! God! I really need to stop using God and Jesus' name in vain because that's just bad. Oh, offensive to people who believe in Jesus and God and what have you. I was not expecting that. <laughs> okay. Cool. I'll just hide here then. Oh god, there's more of them. Oh, they're dead. Don't kill me. I'm not looking at you. He's gone. That's keys. Alright, that's not too hard to go and get, but. Cool. Okay, so we've got a key. That's handy. I think I was just within critical point there. Okay, so we've got the key. What it does is it just opens back out here. Okay, I'm not quite sure why, but I'm sure there's a purpose to it. Maybe. Okay, so we've done that. I guess that's important. Let's 
do this one then. More nasty surprises. Jammers. No, no jammers. Ah, ah, right, now we have hit a dilemma. Right, okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Is there another gateway that we've missed? leads to the sigil so really we can't can't do that yet until we've got both jammers or at least two anyway I see I can't, I can't get that one. Is, is there like another pathway or an archway or something? Doesn't look like it. Is that, or is that chained off fence? Hmm. Right. This is a tricky one. Not quite sure what to do unless I've missed something. Unless I've missed something. There's another one over there, actually. Ooh, I think I have. I missed this one over here. Oh, okay. Okay. That's fine. I think I missed this one here. That's okay. Sweet. Where's he going? I don't know where he's going. Whoa! Hello! Not that way. Oh, no, there's not. Ah, ooh, blimey, that's bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, I'm dead. Okay, how did I escape that? I have no idea, but I'll take it. Oh, get away from me! Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man, that was hard. Oh, oh, I got lucky there. I got lucky there. I got so lucky, it's unreal. But you know what? I'll take it. Right, and there's our third jammer. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, hang on, we need that to get the other ones back, don't we? Uh, get that, get this, there. Okay, okay. We've got three jammers, that's more than enough. Well, in theory it should be. Right, okay. That should be quite an easy ride now. Yes, that makes sense. One for each, um, one for each uh, turret, and then one for the fence at the back. Well, that wasn't too bad, actually. We just got very lucky. But I'll take it. I don't mind putting it down to luck. Sometimes luck is very useful. Sometimes you're allowed to take it and put it down, and then it does the thing you want it to do. And then you're like, yeah, I got lucky. And you're like, I'm happy with that. Some people aren't. Some people try to say, hey, skill, bro, skill. But no, that was luck. That was luck. And I'm happy. Da Bing! Yeah! Sweet. Okay, then. I think that's all of them solved as well. Apart from the star, but we don't care about that. So, I think we're done here. That wasn't too bad, was it? Oh, happy days. Right, cool. On to world number two then. Still got a long way to go. And I'm sure the puzzles are only going to get harder from here. Ooh, we like that. We like that a lot. Oh, there's lots of them. 
Oh. Oh. Oh, there'd be lots. Was it just four? Might be just four. Doesn't matter. Point being is. Ooh. Right, okay. Let's get some uh, files. Oh, only two this time. Well, that's, I suppose that's pretty good. For those of you who have faithfully followed this blog for the last five years, I just wanted to give you one final update. I'm going to spend my remaining time with my family. Yeah, I know, I know. There are probably 50 plus posts all uh, about all the problems I've had with them. But in the end, they are my family. They are the people I grew up with, people I care about, people I love. Sure, they annoy the hell out of me. They've said awful things to me and I've said awful things to them, but that doesn't change who we are. In fact, if we didn't care about each other, this stuff wouldn't upset us. Do I still think they were wrong? Yeah, absolutely. Would I behave differently if I thought we were, all, if we all still had a lot of time? Definitely. But we don't, so I'd rather spend a couple of weeks sitting on the porch with my parents and my sisters than being angry and alone. Besides, it's not like we're going to fight about my job prospects anymore. If you can, try to make peace with those you love. It's your last chance. Thanks for reading. Fair enough. I suppose I could do that in a limited time thing. From Alan Jameson Institute of Applied Pneumatics to Fran, last days. You know what the oddest thing is about all this? We're not constantly fighting, having nervous breakdowns, screaming at each other. We're actually really polite and focused, and we spend most of our time debating the nature of humanity and how we can best succeed at probably the most ambitious thing anyone's ever tried. Like it was completely normal. Like that's just how people are. I feel like we've turned into Star Trek characters or something. I guess, what's the point of doing anything else? Getting angry isn't going to help, but I didn't expect to feel like this at all. And you know what? It's awesome. Many greetings and good luck, Alan. P.S. Love from George. So, is that a reference to humanity's existence completely ending, then? Possibly. I suppose that's what it's been hinting at all this time. Especially with those um, recordings of Alexandra's. Always talking about, you know, when we've gone, what's left, what's the point of us, etc, etc. Highly probable. Okay, well, whatever, let's have a look at some QR codes. Elohim is inconsistent, I don't trust him. Good for you, yes man, good for you. What do you think, pot of paint? Yeah, you glitched that tree. Alright, what have we got here? Oh, I've got to try and read this from the beginning. Question. Suppose everything here serves a precise role in some grand scheme. How would we explain that? It's obviously like a digital time capsule. An electric library of all the crazy stuff the humans ever did, left behind to warn other species to stay well away. So what happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. They existed, and then they didn't. And they probably wouldn't do it all over again. <laughs> yep, yeah, pretty much summarises everything up, I guess. Maybe then that's why Elohim doesn't want this program to end, because if it does, then that's the end of the record of humanity. And I guess the fact that we're in some sort of cemetery or some sort of grave place by a church and cathedral is symbolism that this is the end of humanity. Everyone here will try to convince you their way of seeing things is right. Only when you realise that there is no right will you be truly free. I know that! I've known that for a long time. I still don't feel free. I still have to pay bills and stuff. I solved this one in about 20 seconds, get on with it. Alright, Holika. Show off. <laughs> Alright. Um, Alright, Holika, I feel like this... Um, I feel up to the challenge. Let's have a go, then. Rep oh, yeah, you solved this in 20 seconds, my foot. My foot. My foot up your butt. Well, if you did, sir, fair play to you. But I know for a fact that I won't. It's already been about 20 seconds already. <laughs> Alright then, never mind. Let's uh, let's have a look around. So we've got platforms, we've got tings, and we've got a ladder. Right, up the ladder we go then. Oh, and another ting. Okay. Oh. Alright, we'll jump down here then. Okay. Oh, boxes. I think I know where this might be going. Just double check. Can't be that simple, can it? I doubt it, but I'll give it a go, I suppose. Let's see what's up here, then. Ah! 
Right, okay. Oh boy. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, it's stairs. What goes here? Why would you want to. What, what, why would you want stairs here? I don't know. Right, I sort of see what we have to do. Question is, how do we get the boxes? Up there, that's the question. Because I can't, can I climb the ladder with this? Yeah, I can't climb a ladder while carrying an item. Hmm. Can I throw it? Can I jump? Ah! Jumping! Maybe that, ah, maybe, maybe that's what I've got to do. Well, it's worth a go, I suppose. Alright, let's try it then. What, what is this though? Do I, can I put the... Take platform. Platforms can be used to have something. Oh! 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 Okay, sorry, I'm like, oh, uh, uh. oh no, I'm my bad. So basically, oh, platform, platforms can be used to have something on it. I see. So I can stand here with this platform. Maybe it's not the ladder. Hmm. Okay, right, I'm going to have a play around with this. I think I've got an idea, but it might take me a while. So I'll be back in a bit, hopefully with a solution. But yeah, interesting, interesting. All right, I'll catch you in a bit. Okay, I think I figured out a routine that should solve this problem. So I'm going to start it up now. And basically, you're going to have to watch me do it. So the trouble is, I've got to make sure that I work this in time. So, yeah, basically, it's not a... Uh, too tricky what we have to do. In fact, actually, it's pretty straightforward. But basically, what I've done is... Oh, it's gone there. Oh, that's that's a bit silly. Oh, no, it should be on him. It should be all right. All right well, I'm going to get up here. So it's a question, really, of just... Uh... Where's he gone? Oh, there you are. So yeah, it's just a question of basically me ferrying myself around the ladder, around there, so I can take the hexagon like so. Not drop it on the floor! Oh, I've messed it up! Oh, I've messed it up! Oh, I can't believe I just did that! Oh, I dropped it! Oh no! Oh, poop! Poop! Oh dear, don't think I can get there in time. Oh no! Oh, I pooped it up! Where are you? Stay there! Hey there. No, I think we might be alright. We might have just saved this. Well, that was silly. But yeah, basically, come on, ferry it over. Come on. Come on. Yes! Look at me go. Oh no, he's dropped it! No! Oh, oh well, right. Well, that was basically my plan, and it will work, but I dropped the bloody box. Oh, poop de pants. Right, okay, so basically I'm going to do that again, but I'm not going to record it because obviously it's just a bit pointless and boring. Um, but that's my solution, and I know it's going to work, I just can't drop the boxes. <sighs> Never mind. Anyway, back in a bit, hopefully with the sigil unlocked. Did it! Though it took me a few attempts to get it right because I kept dropping the boxes. I believe it probably would have been a bit easier to have done it from here, but oh well, whatever. So I did it my way. And we got our sigil. So, yeah, that wasn't too bad actually. At least the platform thing isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be in terms of having to get used to it as a mechanic. It works alright. So it's a little bit temperamental, but uh, eh, nothing we can't handle. Okay, so we have two more puzzles that require platforms and uh, one that doesn't. So we'll do the other platform ones in the next video, I think. And that's where we'll end things. So can I say thank you very much for watching if you have done. I think things are starting to take a bit of a turn for the bleak, I guess. Although we kind of as we went along hinted at or the game definitely hinted at that something along the lines of humanity is completely gone and what's left of humanity is pretty much here um, 
that's true, you know, I, I, that's kind of what the game's implying. And maybe that's what it's implied all along, and I'm just a bit slow to get up to speed. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, a bit bleak, but I still want to see how it's going to end. So it's probably going to end as bleak as the game's made itself out to be now, but I don't know, I'm curious. So, um, right, still a long way to go, I believe. We've got still got a few rooms to go, still got loads of puzzles to go. They're getting harder and harder, and then we've still got the towers, so this game ain't over yet. So, classic, thank you very much for watching. If you have done, please take it easy. Have a good one. Hope you're well. And I'll see you in the next video.